morning, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. I'm in the parking lot of Best Buy waiting to pick up my um, laptop. I brought it to the um, Geek Squad to fix. I had first bought a uh, what you call it? external hard drive. And once I got it home, I didn't know what to do with it, so I brought it back. I had got it for a good price. It was ninety-nine dollars for five terabytes, whatever a terabyte is. But it was a good price, so when I figured I couldn't. I didn't know what to do with it. I brought it back and told the Geek Squad to free up my hard, the hard drive space. Because I couldn't make videos. I couldn't do nothing. And so they told me I had to buy a hard drive. And I had just returned the one that I had bought the day before. And of course, it was no longer on sale. So I wound up getting a one terabyte external hard drive and it was $59.99. I said, well, can't you just get the one I just brought back? <clears throat> they said, no, ma'am, it's been open, so we can't go in that bin. I said, I can go in it. I just brought it back. I saw where the girl put it. So they say that they weren't supposed to, but really they can do what they want to do. But anyway, I'm here. It's 9.55 and they open at 10. So I'm so ready. I missed you all. And the last video I put out, I had put it out several days ago. And it was giving people a message that it couldn't be seen in that country. United States. So I don't know what YouTube was doing. So, <clears throat> I had made that video on my iPod. That's what I'm on now. So, I'm hoping I can upload this video and start making my videos again and replying to comments and all that kind of stuff. It's been over a week. Has it been almost two weeks? I don't know. But this is bright and early Sunday morning. It's 9.55, and the man is waiting at the door. He wants to be the first one in there. I can wait. Let me show y'all. Oops. Best Buy. And I haven't really been making the kind of food I like to make. Because I like to share that with you all. <laughs> so, I've been making boring food. I'm so anxious to fix some more chicken wings. Um, they should be opening the door. People are lining up. Still got three minutes. So, I woke up and there was snow on the car. I had to clean the snow off the car. Even though the grounds and streets are clear. Okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, just picked up my laptop. So I have a whole lot of more storage on there. And I bought the hard drive, so I uh, learned how to do all this kind of stuff myself. So I'm going to be bringing it in. And while I was in there, I looked at the new uh, MacBook Pros. They are awesome. So. Getting ready to go find me some fresh chicken wings and see if Target has some since it's right in this area. And then I'm gonna take myself back in the house. Okay, talk to y'all later. Okay, I'm in Target. We'll turn this camera around. What kind of oranges are these? Mandarins. I'm looking for the lumpy, bumpy oranges. Whoops. I'm running into stuff. Well, let me get what I came after. 
I can see right now the meat section is scarce. Here. Try to tell you sausage and the split. Ground beef. Look at these shells, y'all. Let me find the chicken. Oh, the chops. Round 12. Audio, see if they got anything. Some chop for nine dollars per cent. Well, we're gonna pick up bottom just for him because he's a pork chop person. Just a center cut. I like the bone in it. $7.99 for that pack. And what's this? $2.49 for this. Steaks. $20, no thank you. Okay. I don't see no chicken. Um, chicken wings, $7.56. $9.69, that's not a long pack. Don't even look like they belong over here. 756. But these few wings. Well, I want some wings today. Okay, what else? Um, chicken breast nuggets. Okay, here I go, looking at junk. What's that? Buffalo style wing. $8.49. Let's go see if they got some alcohol. Walker needs alcohol to save with. Uh, people paper. Even though we good. Let me see if they got it. So I can tell the people. Um, alcohol will be back that way. I mute this because of the music. Look at the sad water they had left on the shelves. And they got a sign up telling you you're only allowed two per item of the high demand products. Okay. Am I reading that right? Oprah Pizza. Right there. Uh-uh. Nope. I don't see nothing that I usually buy. There's a Detroit style pizza. They're square or rectangular. Down here looking at flower pots. I think these are cute. But I know how to paint. I could do that. That's simple. Now why do they sell these separately? This little draining do hickey my thing. It's supposed to go under this. Should go with it. And they sell it separately. Let me see. So the water can drain. I'm going to leave it. That's cute. A succulent garden. This is love. Okay, I'm going to the baby section. Two of my grandkids are expecting. So I'll have two new great-grands soon. 
So Brandy, she's expecting a boy. So I usually like to buy the pack and play a little play pen. That way you can put the baby in it right away and the baby can use it when it's a toddler also. So where's that section? Um, see the clips. I got the music. Um, I got it muted. Okay, there it is. Pack and play. I probably just ordered it from Overstock or Amazon and have it shipped directly to her. But we still got time for all that. Look at this new bassinet. It swivels. It swivels. Might be scared it's of this. If you don't want to get out of the bed, here. get the baby out the bed. Yeah. Uh -uh. It does too much. I mean, that's lazy. Unless uh -uh. you're mighty sick and you're weak. Baby be laying on the floor somewhere. Look at this thing. <laughs> like the baby's going to wind up on the floor. Dollars. Uh -uh. How much it cost? Over $200. No. And you don't need all these in press no to activate your baby. Especially when it's swiveling like that. You just so bend over and pick your here. baby up. So it'll tilt. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. It's too lazy. Laying in the bed. You're mighty sick. you sick. And you just can't, can't do no better. Bend over and get your baby. Uh -uh. I would pass on this. Give me that little stand. For real, for real. Uh-uh. Mm. That's too flimsy for your most precious belonging. Okay, I like looking at cute little baby clothes like this. But Brandy already said she ain't putting her son in no gowns. And back in the day, everybody wore gowns and they had drawstrings. But now I think they have snaps or something. It's much easier to change a baby in a gown than in one of them footed things. Footed sleepers, but you have to practically undress the baby with them footed things on. Let's get away from the dresses. And something over here I saw. That was really cute. Where they at? Here they are. These little onesies and they have pants that go with them. Really, really cute. But she has time. She's only about five or six, maybe five months. I'm not sure. She's due close to my birthday. And Justin, they don't even know what they're having yet. So they got plenty of time. Let's get away from these baby clothes. Well, looking at the chicken, y'all. Six seventy nine. I don't mind paying if it tastes good. Better watch my purse. I think I'll get this. And let me look at the nutrition stack. So let me get out of here. Okay, y'all, I'm back home and I'm getting ready to eat and upload videos so i want to thank you all for coming along with me give me a thumbs up leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel and you all have a very blessed day bye